Hi, it's Terry. And Jen. And recently, we both listened to a podcast by Brian Buffini, and it was called The Magic of Owning a Home. And we really loved that title, The Magic of Owning a Home. And it was such a great podcast. Yeah, so we uh, we wanted to uh, talk about that. And uh, every day, we, you know, we help to uh, create that magic <laughs> and help our clients find uh, find the, the perfect home and um, you know we're very fortunate to be in that position and um, anyway we want to talk uh, more about um, uh, home ownership and, and the benefits of home ownership yeah and one thing that he touched on uh, was pride of ownership um, I know for myself in in our previous home I used to pull up Every time I pulled up in the driveway, I would look up. It didn't matter the time of day, and I'd always look at it and think, oh, I just love this home. It's such a beautiful home. And I think at the end of a day, no matter what happens during your day, you come home to your home, um, and you've got a safe place for your family and a place of refuge, um, especially with COVID-19. Everybody's had to spend a lot of time in their homes. so. That was just uh, one thing that he touched on was the, the yeah. pride of ownership. And a funny thing he said was, if you want to know about home uh, pride of ownership, was to go to Lowe's or Home Depot um, on a Saturday morning at nine o'clock, and the parking lot's full because people are taking care of their homes and doing little touches on it. To yeah, home fix home it renovations up. are at all time high, and and, yeah. and you see that you know people uh, take a lot of pride in, in their homes and. And and this uh, the generation coming up, the millennials or mm -hmm. our kids, um, um, the home ownership goal is 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 it's ingrained in them, and and it, it's like they all they all want to own a home. They don't want to rent anymore. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're just they're still just moving out of their parents' home, but uh, that's the ultimate goal is is to own a home, and and it's yeah. probably the, the the biggest percentage. Uh, uh, in, in history really so that's one of the reasons we're seeing such a, a huge demand for for houses is because those uh, uh, younger generation is uh, really driving the market mm -hmm. yeah. so um, and, you know the other a big thing um, about uh, home ownership is um, is, is a long-term investment uh, mm -hmm. it's it's a great uh, long-term strategy um, many people it, it's it could be part of your long-term retirement plan um, you know every payment you make you're reducing the debt and uh, so so and increasing your equity so that's 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 you know it's great long-term planning and um, um, you know some people are looking and say you know eventually they'll um, sell that house and move into a bigger house but you know more and more we're encouraging people to try and hang on to that house as long as possible keep it rent it out and then you know Maybe take some of the equity out of that house and purchase your next property, mm -hmm. and, and and having that second home, um, and keep it as a as a really smart long term uh, strategy is is really um, is really a good long term investment. Yeah, and owning your home uh, versus renting it, uh, when you're paying your mortgage, you're putting that money, investing it into yourself, um, renting, you're building the landlord's wealth and not your own. Mm -hmm. So. You've got that aspect too of home ownership, and really nowadays the the price of rent uh, is so high that and money is so cheap right now yeah. that it's actually cheaper to own a home mm -hmm. yeah. than yeah. it is to rent. Yeah, the rents are going up much higher, yeah. a higher rate than the, than the more uh, than the price of homes, even mm -hmm. though the price of homes are definitely going up, um, and then. Um, you know, we talked a lot about um, uh, when you rent, you can't make changes to your house. You know, so you know um, that's a big thing. You know, if you're not happy where you are and you want to change, you know, make changes whether you're renting a house or an apartment. Um, when you own your home, you can you can make any change you want, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's uh, you know one of the the benefits of you know of home ownership is making it your own, yeah. making it putting those uh, special the, touches. Yeah, on taking it the too, house and making yeah. it into a home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so, and that's, uh, I wanted to quote here from uh, um, Franklin D. Roosevelt. Uh, it said, uh, real estate cannot be lost or stolen, nor can it be carried away. Purchased with common sense, paid for in full, and managed with reasonable care, it is about the safest investment in the world. 
and um, and we saw this um, with COVID, you know, we saw the the stock market, the craziness of everything that was happening, you know, when it happened, and people, you know, lost a lot of money on the stock market. Um, but uh, overall, the homes, especially in Canada, uh, the, the the values didn't really fluctuate. You know, it was a slight correction, but overall, um, there was the most stable investment that was out there. So, and and that just just goes to show you that a long term. Um, home ownership is, is one of the best investments you can make. Mm-hmm. So we've attached the podcast. So if you want to have a listen to it, it's really good. And if you have any questions about home ownership, if you're looking to purchase your first home, I uh, give us a call and we'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, and you could either call us or email us at info at Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.